are doing and I hope your day is going on fine. Um, so yeah, um, one of those Sundays I was lucky enough, I attended church service. Um, it happened that um, we held a seminar of which lots of topics we are dealt with, which has to do with revolved around um, um, marriage, family, parenthood, and so many other things. And yeah, at this point in time, there is this particular topic that caught my attention of which um, hopefully, or should I say luckily, I was able to um, you know, capture that little moment that um, the, the message was passed through because um, at that point was the section of, you know, question and answer. And yeah, so um, what is this all about? Um, the pastor actually um, gave a reply on how can churches, okay, churches, parents, community, I mean every single person, how can we contribute to training up our teenagers and our children, okay, which also involves our kids. You know, there are some vital information that most of us we tend not to, you know, put our interest in, but sometimes it's good to kind of like, you know, have this um, um, passerby um, kind of uh, learning from it, because even when we think we know everything, we know little, little or nothing about it. So yeah, I just felt like capturing that moment and I had the... Um, Enthusiasm to share with people, okay, because I have this feeling that um, it will go a long way, and one or two persons, of course, will be impacted in it. And if you don't mind, it's kind of like a sit down clip, but it's not too long as um, many might um, think of. And as well, your comment and uh, your comment and opinion is also welcome on this particular video, okay. <laughs> So just please sit down, take your time and go through it. I'll be expecting your comments and opinion with regards to what you as well think, um, you know, in terms of church, um, we individuals and community at large, what you can actually say in terms of contributing to, you know, we worldwide um, training up our young ones that are looking up to us um, for a better um, future and a good life um, in the nearest future. So that being said, if today is the first time coming across this channel, thank you for you know tuning in and thank you for stopping by. Um, I appreciate it a whole lot. Do well to hit the subscribe button and also to my returning viewers and subscribers, thanks a whole lot for your consistency in supporting me. I appreciate. Without wasting much of your time, let's just dive right in into the next clip. Provide spiritual guidance for them. Through the word of God, through the foundation of the word of God to guide them, to lead them in the way of the Lord is very, very important. And apart from that, the church can also go further. Uh, I think um, we in Foursquare, we have a very uh, functional uh, system where we um, you know, educational system, you know, through our Sunday school, our house fellowship system, you know, where we reach out to families, all right? Then also in the church, too, we can also organize programs, events, um, even in their, in their church, in their gathering. We can also teach them some of these uh, principles that will really help them to prepare them for marital life. Am I, am I communicating? So these are some of the areas that we can, we can help them. Seminars, workshops, uh, teachings, you know, that are tailored you know, in line with God's precepts. I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to believe I answered your question for that. Are you on a trial of that? Huh? Like our older parents, of course, you know that they, they do have time for their children and that, of course, might have informed uh, some of the reasons why we see that we have a better parenting. Parenting is um, uh, a clear task, I must tell you. But the reason why we have some of this divide today, one of it is because uh, some of these parents don't really have time for their children. 
and that is why we need to create more time for them. And that is why you see that uh, whenever these parents are not around, we don't know what some of these children are doing. And like I mentioned earlier, I talked about the issue of technology now. Some of these children can go online and get some of this information that you know that you can get. And that is why as parents, we need to close the gap, ensure that um, there is no gap. Or, you know, there is also what is called like, community parenting. When we were growing up, there used to be community parenting. Everyone in your community is a parent. Am I complicated? True. But today, yes. it's, you know, it's not like that today. Why? Because I wouldn't want my child to go to that family because I don't know what type of values that child will give up, will give up there. It's you true. know, another thing again about security too. Security situation is also there. I wouldn't want my child to be bewitched. I wouldn't want my child to be injured. I wouldn't want anything to you know, happen to my child. So this uh, mindset of uh, this, uh, you know, the nucleus family ideology is becoming so, you know, rampant today on uh, what we used to have when we have extended family. You know, not just for extended, your uncles, aunts, you also have your neighbors too. The community family relationship is there where you see that every mother there, and you is your mother. Every father there is your father. Am I communicating? So yes. what we need to do is we need to uh, keep enlightening our family. That is why I talked about the stakeholders, you know, within the family dynamics. You know, the stakeholders, everyone needs to come. We need to give sensitizing families to see that uh, uh, we create that bond. But let me tell you something. Um, things are changing. And that is why we just have to, you know, move to time. Things are changing. A lot of parents are not comfortable having their children you know, around, you know, with other neighbors. I must tell you, things are changing on like what we used to have when you are facing and face you. Today, everybody is in their flat. They wouldn't want to go out to the next neighbor. Am I communicating? Yeah. So that is why in our whole home, we need to what, teach our children the key core values that will help them and shape their life for tomorrow. And also the schools too should also do that. Not all about them, school work, not just about mathematics and English. We can also teach them. That is why in our educational curriculum, we have you know tailored uh, programs or you know topics that are tailored to really help our homes, like social studies, cultural studies, and and, and, the, and the likes. You know that will really help these children. Thank you, sir. Thank you. before coming here, it was first class uh, church in Uganda. We have a program for 